One of the best things about having cameras on us 24-7 is that they show every detail of an event. The validity of a person's story greatly increases when there's a camera involved. But there are still those few times when it's hard to believe even though they're caught on camera, simply because the circumstances are so rare, outrageous, or breathtaking. From pipeline blasting to parachuting onto the Statue of Liberty, here are five moments you wouldn't believe if not filmed. Some of the world's most amazing feats of engineering are massive underground pipelines. They run for hundreds, sometimes thousands of miles, and the pipes can be massive, sometimes measuring about 4 to 6 feet or 1 to 2 meters in diameter. However, this also begs the question, how are the holes for these pipes dug out? Even with machines, the manual process would take so much time. Luckily, this isn't the case, so long as you have enough dynamite to get the job done for you. In this video, the Daikon Blasting Company has been tasked with digging a trench in which a large pipeline will rest. Their specialty? Precision blasting. The all clear is given, and the man on the radio signals the countdown. The next second, the explosion starts. However, it isn't just a single explosion. The charges have been buried in a line, marking the path that the pipeline will follow. Almost as if a giant groundhog were burrowing a tunnel through the dirt, the explosions rip through the earth. Finally, the last of the explosions occurs, leaving behind nothing but a dust cloud and a trench, hundreds of feet long. Skydiving is one of the most heart-stopping and extreme sports in the world. People climb in airplanes, go up thousands of feet, and jump, trusting their lives to some fabric and thin strands of cord. However, even in spite of the risks, daredevils love it and have even taken to bringing some artistic expression to it. In November of 2013, two small airplanes took off from a small airstrip near Superior, Wisconsin. These planes were full of skydivers who had plans to do a coordinated jump, forming artistic designs in the air. The video picks up just as the divers are about to jump out of the plane. Suddenly, for an unknown reason, the two planes collide with each other in mid-air, forcing the passengers and the pilot to abandon the aircraft. It was an incredibly surreal experience for the skydivers who were all able to jump from the planes in time and land safely on the ground. The pilot of the damaged plane was still able to fly and managed to land it back on the runway. He sustained facial cuts and a broken hand, but survived. As for the pilot of the airplane that lost the wing, he was also wearing a parachute and was able to bail out of the airplane. He too was injured, but survived. Paragliding is a sport you don't often hear much about, but is about as extreme as it gets. Well, there's a variation called powered paragliding where the gliders will use a backpack engine called a paramotor that allows them to cover great distances and heights without the need for wind. It also allows the glider to start from ground level rather than a very high point. That is exactly what French stuntman and activist Thierry Devaux did in August of 2001. As a way to protest the use of landmines in war, DeVoe got his paraglider, strapped on his paramotor, and took off with a banner flying behind him. It was his plan to fly past the Statue of Liberty and land somewhere on Liberty Island. However, things didn't quite go as planned. Flying as high as the statue's torch, DeVoe realized he was too close to it and attempted to steer out of the way. However, it was too little too late. 
His cord got caught up on the statue's torch, and he was left hanging for a little bit, much to the dismay of the tourists below who were waiting to climb up to the top. Members of the NYPD's Emergency Service Harbor and Aviation Units responded to the scene. After being hoisted to safety, DeVoe was handcuffed and taken into the custody of the National Park Service Police. The scene was broadcast from TV news helicopters. Because of the failed stunt, the torch had to be closed for a short time while crews worked to get the remains of the paraglider untangled. This is definitely a moment you wouldn't believe happened if it were not caught on camera. Of any video footage that exists in the world today, some of the most rarely seen are those of military exercises. Governments keep a close eye on what they release to the public since you never know what agents from other countries could be watching and taking notes on what they see. Only after getting clearance from higher-ups can the videos be released. That brings us to this footage taken by the United States Navy only a few short weeks ago. On June 18, 2021, while sailing somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean, the aircraft carrier USS Gerald R. Ford conducted the first scheduled explosive event of full ship shock trials. As the video starts, we can see a lone ship in the water. A voice starts counting down from 10. When the countdown ends, a bright flash from under the surface suddenly causes the water to turn a bright blue just before the explosion breaks and sends a towering wave of water shooting skyward. It is an enormous explosion to say the least, one that totally engulfs the ship, leaving no sign that it ever existed. These exercises, conducted to test the effectiveness of underwater explosions against enemy ships, are performed regularly. It is truly mind-boggling when you see the scale of the blast. What will blow your mind even more is when you realize that this is the only footage of a video that has been declassified. Imagine what exists on videos that have not been made available to the public. What sort of destruction do you think we would see? For drivers, mountainous regions are some of the trickiest roads to navigate and are definitely not for the faint of heart. Some of this has to do with the winding road and sharp curves that you can encounter. Other times, though, you face more deadly dangers, like the absence of a guardrail. When you are hundreds of feet in the air with a cliff beside the road, a guardrail is a must. The driver in this video had to deal with both of these hazards. Shot from a dash cam, the driver is seemingly going about his day, enjoying the great views that the road has to offer. As he approaches a long tunnel, though, he gets brave and decides to speed up. However, once inside the tunnel where it was a little darker, his eyes were not able to see the sharp turn just on the other side. As he exited, the split second it took for his eyes to adjust to the new light was a split second too long. He was going too fast for the curve and lost control. He also happened to be at a section of road where there was no guardrail. The vehicle careened over the side, vaulting end over end. The terror in his voice was obvious when he realized exactly what sort of trouble he was in. By some miracle, though, this particular bank was not as steep as other parts, and his vehicle only made it about 50 feet off the side. He sustained no injuries and was able to walk away. It was definitely a lesson in safety. 
As we've said before, times have changed. Now, words do not do a story justice. It is all about video evidence. So, be sure you have your phone handy. You never know when you'll capture a once-in-a-lifetime moment. To see more videos about crazy moments caught on camera, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.